is autonomously navigating itself. It is precision locked on the asteroid. For the first time, humanity has demonstrated the ability to autonomously target and alter the orbit of a celestial object. The impact of DART into the asteroid Dimorphos was confirmed at 7.14 p.m. Eastern Time when the DART Mission Operations Center here at APL lost signal with the spacecraft. Miles per second. And now you can see Dimorphos slowly filling the screen. We're going to be seeing additional uh, data over the next, so ground base observatories are already taking data right now. They're looking at the ejecta. Of course, the JWST and all these other missions are really concentrating on, um, on Didymus and Dimorphos. But what we're going to be seeing probably in the next couple of months, we're actually going to get a confirmation of exact uh, period change that we made. So it's not going to be tomorrow, I'm sorry, but it is going, we might see some uh, Leech and cube CubeSat images coming up in the next day or two, which was the little CubeSat that we let go of about 15 days ago. Should have flown by by now and uh, took some images of the plume that we created. So we're going to be seeing that data come down soon in the next couple of days, and then over the next two months, we're going to see more information from the investigation team on what period change did we actually make, because that's our number two goal. Number one was hit the asteroid, which we've done, but now number two is really measure and characterize how much ejecta uh, we actually put out. This object before, bullseye. I have to say, I shed a tear <laughs> when I, you know, the last image that um, didn't come out fully. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of emotion in, in those critical time, and we had some surprises in the last few weeks and a lot of teamwork going on, and so, um, you know, there's a um, lot of um, friendship uh, mm -hmm. that's being built, so uh, it was mm -hmm. a relief to see that it went so well.